I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn interval notation. Now interval notation can be used to represent real numbers between any two points. Let's take up this example. I want to represent numbers between minus 3 and 2. This line has been drawn to show you a graphical look of what we are trying to do. Now when we say all real numbers between minus 3 and 2, we are not very clear whether we are including minus 3 and 2 or not. So what we do is on a number line, if we make an open circle, it means that the number 2 is not included. And if I make an open circle here also, then it means that minus 3 is also not included. So what we have is all the numbers, let's say the numbers are x, these numbers should be greater than minus 3 and should be less than 2. This kind of an interval is also known as open interval since both the ends are not included. So let me write down open interval here. In interval notation, we represent open interval by brackets like this. So this is open interval where the numbers are between minus 3 and 2 and numbers minus 3 and 2 are not included. Right. So that is the interval notation. So we are discussing how to represent all the real numbers between two points not including them for the time being and if it is not including in that case we have these brackets right now let us say we have two numbers which are let us say included so that is we are talking about closed interval now closed interval means uh, the endpoints are included and let's say these two numbers are included let me just write just draw approximately and let's say these numbers are let's say minus 20 and this is let us say 15 now how to represent all the numbers in between minus 20 and 15 where both these are included using interval notation so here the closed interval is represented by a square bracket so when it is a square bracket that means that the number is included so it is minus 20 on the left side and on the right side it is 15 which is also included what we considered here is two cases where we have seen how interval notation is used for open interval and closed interval well we could have combinations of open and closed uh, kind of like this uh, we could have something which is all the numbers less than some value let's say this number here is let's say minus 5 so everything less than minus 5 where minus 5 is not included and we could have something kind of let me take one negative number here also which is like closed interval and it's greater than that number it could be let's say minus 1 okay now how to represent this on interval notation now in this case you see it is not kind of connected so we call it as a disjunction now here we can use or condition or union right so this is two intervals two intervals so the first interval is is going towards left towards minus infinity minus infinity can never be included so it is open bracket here minus 5 we have not filled up the circle and so it is also not included so that is the interval representing uh, the left side the right side all real numbers here are represented by a square bracket since minus 1 is included right and it's going to positive infinity and as you know infinity is not a defined real number and you can never reach it so it cannot be included so in between it is the relation or so it is this or this sometimes in set notation we also use union u right so this stands for union so some of the students will use union however this point is very clear here that the interval notation can be used to represent and conditions as we see in the first two cases 
with open or closed interval. It could also be used for or condition as you have seen in the last example uh, with open, closed or combination of these. Right? So that is how uh, we do them. Sometimes in set notation you could also write this interval in set notation as, let me write for one of them, you can write for others where we say x belongs to real numbers so that x is between minus 22 15 both included so you could write in this as minus 20 to 15 right so you could sometimes use within the curly brackets to represent the set but individually if you write interval notation as I've written here it means that also so there is no need to say x belongs to real numbers it is assumed that x belongs to real numbers in this particular case so that is also important to understand I hope with this it is clear how to represent real numbers with interval notation let me give you a question to practice and this time what I will do is we'll kind of do the reverse thing let's take the number line and on a number line you need to represent the inequality let us say minus 2 to 1 both included union 3 to infinity right both not included so this is an exercise for you on the number line represent all the real numbers which are from minus 2 to 1 both included or between 3 to infinity right so I hope with this you get an idea about interval notation. We'll take few more videos to elaborate on this. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.